we are here in Normandy 80 years ago today, so many brave men came to protect freedom. Freedom that we are enjoying now in America and across the globe. We were part of the ceremony. It was remarkable just to, to see these men who have come back and, and women who gave so much, gave the ultimate sacrifice so that we can enjoy the freedoms that we have today. And as it said, we're the land of the free because of the brave. And we got to see and celebrate the brave today. Yeah, amen. It's one of the most amazing experiences of my life. My dad was a World War II veteran uh, in the Pacific in New Guinea. There were 66 uh, World War II vets here today. They were all just incredible stories. I asked them, what's it like to come back? And they said, well, the people are friendlier and it's quieter this time. They had a great sense of humor. They still love our country. And it reminds you what, what can happen if you don't do your job right uh, politically. If you let evil go unchecked, you wind up getting a lot of people uh, put in harm's way. So here we are 80 years later, we got a land war in Europe, our friends in Israel under attack. They want to kill all the Jews. Do you, does this sound familiar? So the best thing we can do here is not only honor these people uh, who defeated Hitler, but also make sure that on our watch, we don't let this happen again. And we were surrounded by thousands of Americans who never made it home, 66 who fought, average age is over 100. It's very sobering. Absolutely. So we hope um, that today you will join us in remembering them, remembering their sacrifice, and remembering that we 